We've come to Hartlepool now to visit the combine winning loft of Mrs Galloway and son. Good morning Sonny. Good morning Keith. How long have you been in the sport? I've been in the sport about 41 years now Keith. Yeah, has it changed much in them years? Well I, th I think years ago when, when everybody helped everybody years ago and I think now it's not the same as what it was years ago. The friendliness has gone out the sport and what it used to be Keith. Yeah. You know? Do you think it's better in the old days? Better in the old days, a lot better. A lot better people I think in the old days. Yeah. What was your circumstances of starting up in pigeons? Well my dad kept them and uh, I was a bit of a rip as a kid and I got my dad out there. Uh, I got a bit of bother, my dad packed the pigeons in and then when I, st I started up again, I started with a bloke called John Robber and my dad said, well, if you get a garden of your own, I'll come back into pigeons and that's how we started again. Yeah. So he's your tutor? He, he was my tutor, yeah. yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Well, I think the best performance was topping the combine out of the barges. The old cock, I mean, he's, he was the best pigeon, I mean, and I topped the combine out of the thirds or with a Ray Callender, Pigeon Ray gave me a check then, we called her Callender Gale. The following year I paid, paid her onto the, the other year before she topped the combine, I paid her onto the old cock, she was a nice looking hen. And she bred the second combine one of the Thursday over that hen. Yeah, brilliant. The old cock. And you won it again recently mate, congratulations. Yes, we won uh, Shanoise with the hen of Geordie Aisley's. Yeah. She's a cracking hen and she's done it twice, so she's a good pigeon. You also bred some decent pigeons for people as well, haven't you? Yeah, I bred a second combine for Ralph Eiley. The pigeon what Geordie wanted us to top the combine with is the granddaughter of the old combine cock. Rod Adams has had some good Borges pigeons of Blue Wern. I think she had a ninth and tenth combine at Borges, and he's Borges winner this year. Goes back to the old combine cock. And Tommy Kilner, he's had fed winners out of him at Borges. Abby Elliott Sealing when he's off the old cock. Yeah, brilliant family of pigeons, mate. He's a brilliant... The old cock was the best pigeon I've ever owned. I mean, I had the school missus, which Gordon Adam bred was a cracking racing pigeon. But the old cock, I mean, he, he had nine wins before he topped the combine, and plus, he's bred, he bred me 73 individual winners with old pigeons he bred for other people. Absolutely brilliant, mate. What sort of distance do you like racing your pigeons? Well, the win from 60 to 500, 600 Yeah, miles. so you like all distances? The old, all distances, yeah. This is your combine winner then, Phil? Yes, uh, she took the combine out of Shanoise this year. She was bred and sent down by Geordie Hasty from Berwick. Uh, prior to the line her up, she had three races this year, the same as the year before. She'd done Peterborough, Lil, and then she was lined up for Shanoise. Yeah, what system was she raced on when she won the combine? She was raced on natural. Yeah, how was she sitting? She was sitting this year, 23 days. She got some previous form as well, hasn't she? She was 10th combine, she was last year. She was sitting 70, uh, 18 days last year. Yeah, lovely pigeon, mate. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Keith. Thanks very much for letting me see your pigeon You're today. Welcome. What system do you race your old birds on? We race 20 pair of roundabouts and we have 20 pair of naturals. Yeah, what's your idea of two systems then? We like the roundabout system and also we like the the naturals. Yeah, what's that? Is that for different distances or? Dif different dif different dif uh, distances. We have, uh, we flow very well on w roundabout ends, mainly at Forks and Lil. Yeah, the short ones. And what's that, a long distance for the natural pigeons? The naturals are also for long distance and short distance. Yeah. But the, we've proved over the years it's been the natural pigeons what's done mainly the damage. Yeah. When did you pair them up then? We pair up January the 1st for the roundabout system and we also pair up 16th of February yeah. for the naturals. This is the sea inside the partner's natural loft. These are just a few of the naturals what we have left. Yeah, how many pairs of naturals do you normally keep then? 20 Bill? pair. The partners have a 16 foot natural section and the birds are trapped for open doors into a corridor. This is a nice blue cock, Sonny, what's this one? He's, uh, he's a grandson of the old cock, he, he's been a crack and racing pigeon, he has 11 wins, I believe he's topped the fed out of five or six times, and he's bred me today, 46 wins this cock. Oh, brilliant pigeon. And What system was he raced on, mate? He was raced on the natural system, 
They are two, there's two of them, the two nest mates, and they both turned out to be cocks. This cock here, he couldn't fly the channel to save his life. I put him over to Haberville three times. Yeah. Three times he come the next day out of Haberville. A good sprinter. Yeah, but he's a hell of a sprinter, and uh, he's, his nest mate is a different pigeon all, all together. He's one as a young un and he has seven channel wins. He has nine yeah. wins all together, but seven of them is channel wins and yeah. good channel wins. He's what families of pigeons you raised in, Sonny? Well, we, we, the main the main base of the pigeons is Janssen Science. We bought them in 1957 from a man in my fields in Yorkshire, a man called Freddie Dawson. We bought uh, four families of pigeons off them. We brought the Logans, the Science, and the Janssens, and the Marriotts. Yeah. And we crossed the Science onto the Janssens, and we worked the Marriotts and the Logans out of the family of pigeons, because when we crossed the Janssens onto the Science, there were the pigeons what was winning from 60 miles to 600 miles. So yeah. we kept the one family. And recently, I've got a lot of good pigeons in off Brian Long, which is the de Clack pigeons. He got them direct from de Clacks. Yeah, they're the Janssens too, mate. They're the Janssens, and them crossed onto the old family has given me some good wins. Yeah. So you, well, you just bring the odd cross in there again, do you? The odd cross. I mean, I, I have a blue cock now. He's only yelling cock. He has seven wins now. Yeah. And he's across de Clack off a cock. Brian sent me up when I moved from here to fly it's Freddie Jackson's loft. He uh, he had 29 cards as a young bird, that, that pigeon, sat with some weddings for me. He, he was a fantastic pigeon and then when we, the partnership dissolved, we come, I brought him back here, that cock, and I put him onto a daughter of the old cock and this is what this blue cock's off now. I mean, he was yeah. third combined at the Weddings Club National this year. Yeah. How many stock birds you keep? I keep, uh, I have 30... There's 30 stock pigeons. Yeah. 15 pair I have out of 30 stock pigeons. Yeah, when did you pair them up? They're paired up in January. This is the partner's 28 foot stock loft. It has two sections for breeding and a section where the birds have a bath and get a bit of weather. Most of the stock birds are split off now, and this is a few of the stock cocks. Another nice blue cock, Sonny, what's this one? It's an estimate, the blue cock you've seen previous to him. This is the cock what's, he, this is the channel pigeon out a lot. He has nine wins this cock and seven of his wins is uh, channel wins. He's a fantastic pigeon. He, he used to love 10 hours on the wing at the likes of Mellon and places like that. He's, as a breeder, he's a fantastic breeder as well. These two cocks, the two blue cocks, the two nest mates, always paired back to the whole mother which was a direct daughter of the combine cock, what we call Philly's cock. It, it was a direct daughter, and the both cocks used to go to the same mother, one once, and then split them off and put the other cock to the one. And every pigeon, I mean, the four pigeons out the five on the date she noise is through a daughter of this cock, a blue and white hen. She, should, uh, she wouldn't trap it, Lilith. She ended up third combine, very close race. Yeah. And she's... she's the mother of them four pigeons out of Chennai's this year. Just goes to show, mate, good pigeons breed good pigeons. That's right, yeah, yeah. Do you think there's a type of pigeon for long distance and short distance in Sunny? Well, I don't think so, Keith. What, when, when you look at them two blue cocks, the two nest mates, one's a fantastic sprint pigeon. He couldn't fly the channel to save his life. He's been the channel three times, three times. On a fast day, a steady day, he's always come the next day. Yeah. Now, his nest mate is a fantastic distance pigeon. Yeah. And people say, people handle these two cocks and say, well, good sprint pigeon, one of them, the other one's too big to fly the channel. Yeah. So, I mean... So I it's not really a type of pigeon, it's, it's not really, really a type of pigeon key, that I don't think so. I think if, if the pigeon's got it inside and it's bread rice, I mean, nobody tells it it can't fly 500 mile. No. The, pigeon, the pigeon flies a 500 mile. Yeah. And the other one, you know, it just can't fly. So I don't think there's any type of a Pacific pigeon no. to... It's how they're handled. You know, yeah. 
to, to do both. I mean, I have little pigeons, I have big pigeons. You've seen the blue cocks, yeah. the massive pigeons. Yet one's a hell of a sprint pigeon, one's a hell of a distance pigeon. So mm. where do you go on that, Keith? No. You like a bit of eye sign, don't you, Sonny? I like the eye sign. I judge the eye sign, Keith. I like to see a good eye on a pigeon, but I don't pair up on eye sign. No. I've had some fantastic eye sign pigeons. I mean, I learnt this a lot of years ago. I had a blue cock. He had one of the best eyes I'd ever seen in my life. And I bred and bred off him, and he bred me a parcel of shit. That's all he bred me. Yeah. You know, so... Another class-looking pigeon, Sonny. What's this one? He's a chicka cock. He's a roundabout cock. He, he flies the roundabouts. But they all, as I say, we fly the roundabout up to Beauvais, after Beauvais. They all paired up. He's unnatural now. But this cock, he has six wins. He has five decent combine turns. His favourite races is uh, Forks and, and Lillis. Yeah, what family is he, mate? He's through Philly's cock. He's the great-grandson to Philly's cock. Let's talk about your babies now. Bill? We have two sections of babies, we have about 24 dag out system and we have about 50 natural yawns. Yeah, so how far do they race then? They go all the way to Maidstone which is about 260 mile, to, uh, 250 to 60 mile. Yeah, so they go right through. They go right through the programme. Yeah, what's the best youngsters in your opinion then? The best youngsters we found out, we've been on the dark system, was the natural yawns. Yeah. Cock last year. The same as the year before, he's, uh, he wasn't on the dark out system, he was a normal young man and he has about six six wins. Yeah, that's brilliant, brilliant. So that, that, that's quite refreshing to hear that, because everybody says that the dark young ones are best, but you find your natural ones are best? We've, we had uh, 24 on, on dark out last year and we had 50 odd uh, normal young ones and I think we won one with the dark out young ones and all the rest of the performances was with the natural young That's brilliant. These are a few of the partner's young birds. And the odd bowl is put into the box purchase for pigeons that want to pair up. This is Sonny and Phil's dark youngsters of 1998. And I must say the malt looks fantastic. They look like yearlings. What's your opinion of the dark system then, Sonny? Well, long term effect of it, Keith. I think after they've been on dark out, when they go on the, on the, the adult position of it the year after, the pigeons to me, they're no good. I mean, we put so many on it last year, they've all been lost. Bound one cocky still there. It's the nest mate of the, the blue cocky here, uh, which is, is a natural young one, and his nest mate was on the dark out system. They both won and top the feathers young birds, but the, the dark system pigeon has timed him once this year where his, his nest mate, he has, uh, I believe he has seven fests now, his nest mate. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, so, I, I believe there's only one thing to do with the dark out pigeons, I think after the flu, as young birds on the dark out, if you want them for stock, I've never tried any of them to stock, Keith, but I think the only thing to do with them, if you want them for stock, is put them to stock or bin them. Yeah. Because they're no good as old birds. I don't believe they are. No. And as, as I've told you before, we'll never have a fly dark system here again because no. you just waste some good pigeons. Yeah, because also your natural youngsters are beating your darks after That's time. right. That's right, yeah. yeah. The up north combine went in loft of Sonny and Phil Galloway.